Hey, Linda, get your butt back here, like, right now. Your mother-in-law isn't done giving you a lesson and you think you can just bolt away from me? Seriously? Get back here immediately, you sassy daughter-in-law. Your actions are totally unacceptable. Why should I even listen to you? I'm not dumb enough to put up with a mentally unstable woman like you. If you want to have a conversation in person, no problemo, but first you better say sorry to me. Oh, by the way, you're not my mother-in-law just yet, so quit daydreaming. And if you keep acting all bonkers like this, I'll never see you as my mother-in-law, not even after I marry your son. Got it? What? You seriously think I should apologize to you? You're nothing but a lowlife scum with no parents. And guess what? You're the one living in a fantasy world, who said you could marry Arthur. Know your limits and back off from my son already. I can't believe that you even had the audacity to fight back when I was trying to set you straight. No chance of getting away with that. Come back here and beg for forgiveness on your knees. Look, let me make something clear. Just because my parents went through a divorce when I was little doesn't mean I don't love my parents, okay? And let's not forget, you were literally attempting to kick me into the fireplace. So why on earth should I just sit still and take it? Why shouldn't I defend myself and get away from you? I'm not some ignorant fool, you know. Well, well, well. Look who's getting a taste of their own medicine. Seriously, did you really think I'd just roll over and accept some stray girl like you as my son's wife? That's beyond ridiculous. I did what any responsible parent would do to safeguard my son and our family from a deceitful cow like you. So it's totally on you for trying to pull off that deceitful act. Hold up a sec. Deceitful cow? Seriously? I haven't done a single thing to deceive you or your family. Look, if you're pointing fingers at someone for being deceitful, maybe you should take a good, long look at yourself in the mirror. You invited me to your place. Saying you're sorry for your past actions and trying to make things right by having a peaceful dinner together. But what happened instead? You straight up attacked me. What's up with that? Has your sorry excuse for a mom already kicked the bucket after ditching your useless dad? I bet that's what happened because you're just some uneducated savage. I'm sure your parents are so proud of bringing bad seeds like you into this world, huh? What a family full of losers. Hey, leave my parents out of this, okay? My mom did a fantastic job raising me. Unlike a certain arrogant someone who flaunts being raised by both parents but lacks basic manners. You're so poor and pathetic. You're nothing but a target for hate and ridicule. Do you really think that someone as elite as me would ever change my mind and associate with the bottom feeder of society like you? Besides, you're probably poor anyway. And we all know that poor people don't have a say in this world. It's all about money now. Money talks and money dictates everything. If you're poor, then you don't deserve to have anything, not even life. And the fact that you don't even have parents makes you the lowest of the low. Oh, really? That's strange, because I've never heard of anything like that before. You really seem to know a lot about poor people. Are you some kind of poverty expert or something? Wow, I'm so impressed. You've really done your homework on the poor. I bet you could teach a class on the subject. Or maybe you should write a book, Poverty for Dummies, perhaps. Oh, bless your heart. You're quite clueless, aren't you? I'm sure they cover what is life to live in poverty at school, right? Oh, wait, my bad. You didn't even have the opportunity to go to school because you're just too dim-witted and broke, silly me. Good one. Oh, I'm pretty sure I did go to school. Just not the same kind as yours, apparently. See, at my school, they focus on teaching us how to be kind and caring towards one another. But based on your behavior towards me, it seems like violence and abuse must be the norm at your school, huh? Geez, did you get your education in some kind of prison, Margaret? Because it sure seems like it to me. What? How dare you accuse your own mother-in-law of going to prison? 
That's plain rude and disrespectful. Why don't you just face the truth, Linda? Poor people without parents are just rotten pieces of trash. Just admit it, Linda. You were born to be trash and you are destined to live a trashy life, plain and simple. Seriously? Is that the best excuse you've got for your crazy behavior, Margaret? My parents being divorced is your go-to explanation? Gotta be honest, your knowledge is shallower than a baby's teaspoon. Like, seriously shallow. I wouldn't even be surprised if you actually got your education behind bars. Given how clueless you sound. What? How many times do I gotta repeat myself? I never set food in prison, you moron. So quit with your dumb accusations already. You're seriously starting to grind my gears, you know? Hey, Margaret. How about we try to smooth things over? Let's start by you offering a sincere apology to me. Come on, it's not rocket science, is it? Oh, don't even try to use some pronunciation excuse. Like you can't even spell sorry correctly or something. Who do you think you are trying to demand an apology from me, huh? Oh, give me a break. Are you still holding a grudge over that fireplace incident? Listen up. I had good intentions, all right? I was genuinely worried about you freezing your butt off because you were barely wearing any clothes. I mean, it looked like you couldn't even afford proper clothing. So yeah, I thought a little trip to the fireplace would warm you up. Can you see how incredibly considerate I am? I'm like the ultimate mother-in-law superstar. The best there ever was. Oh, is that the real reason behind your little fireplace kicking episode? Wow, how sweet of you. You know what? It's folks like you who give life to the term monster-in-law. And guess what? It's also folks like you who contribute to the economic burden on society. Congratulations! What the heck are you even talking about? How on earth am I causing an economic burden on society? Do you even realize that I own a kick-ass company that rakes in millions of dollars each year? It's only clueless and flat-broke scum like you who end up being a burden on everyone around you. Oh, you've totally missed my point. I wasn't referring to yearly company earnings. I'm talking about how the government has to spend loads of cash maintaining prisons, providing healthcare, food, and all those essential services for criminals like yourself. That's where you become a burden on society. No doubt about it. What? You're bringing up the prison talk again? Have you completely lost it, you crazy witch? If anyone around here deserves a one-way ticket to this slammer, it's none of other than you. You had the nerve to snark at me and fight back all while I was just trying to give you a life lesson. Tell me, is that how you think a daughter-in-law should treat her mother-in-law? Unthinkable. What lesson were you even attempting to teach me, Margaret? If your goal was to turn me into a criminal like you, well, thanks but no thanks. I have zero interest in that, not even a tiny bit. You know what's funny? Talking to you actually gets me all pumped up. I mean, I've never felt this level of excitement in my entire life. It's a whole new level. Huh? What are you getting so excited all of a sudden? Oh right. I forgot. It's not like poor people like you get to talk to the elite like me very often. So enjoy your conversation while you can, honey. Because it won't be long before my son dumps you for someone with more money and status. Believe me, it's only a matter of time. Wow, Margaret. Is it a challenge to maintain such a delusional mindset all the time? Anyway, you know why I'm all hyped up? It's because I've never encountered someone as toxic and self-centered as you as my life. I didn't even know people like you existed. You should be put in a museum or something as a cautionary exhibit to show people what not to become. What now? Are you seriously mocking me, your highness? Because it sure feels like you've been throwing some serious shade my way in these past few messages. Do you think I'm so clueless that I wouldn't catch on to your sneaky intentions? You better fix your attitude, young lady. I'm totally confused here, like seriously. I have no clue what you're even talking about. 
Believe me, I'd never dream of doing anything to mock and such an arrogant. No. I mean such an incredibly elegant woman like yourself, Margaret. Nope. Not a chance. How dare you keep mocking me like that, you sneaky woman? You know what? You're simply not fit for my son. Start listening to your mother-in-law for once instead of snarking at me like a complete savage. Will you? Oh, I listen to you all right. But to be honest, you're not really worth listening to. You're like a broken record, repeating the same old nonsense over and over again. And don't even get me started on your contradictory behavior. You claim to be my mother-in-law, but you're constantly against me marrying your son. It's like you're living in a fantasy world of your own. But hey, I guess that's what makes you so charming. You're a one-of-a-kind specimen, like an endangered species or something. I'm sure there's a whole museum dedicated to people like you. You! Don't even try to keep taking advantage of my kindness, all right? I've been booting up with your nonstop blabbering and letting you say whatever you please, but those days are over. Linda, you're like the epitome of the absolute worst daughter-in-law. I can't stand you. So do me a favor and get out of my life, all right? I don't want to see or hear a single word from you ever again. Well, hey, no problem at all. That's exactly what I want, too. I'm more than happy to stay far away from you and all your toxic vibes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some other important stuff to take care of. Thanks for providing some entertainment, though. Hold up, hold up, Missy. You're not off the hook just yet. You still need to bid farewell to my son and I mean like forever. Here's the deal. Because I'm such a loving and caring individual. I'll give you a little bit of time to say your goodbyes before you break the news to him that you're hitting the road. What on earth are you talking about? Why do I have to say goodbye to Arthur? Did you even bother to ask your own son what he wants? Did he say he wanted to end things with me, or are you just making decisions without his input? Let's get this straight once and for all. I am not breaking up with Arthur, got it? So quit living in your little fantasy world, wake up and face reality. You can't make him dump me. And he definitely won't break up with me. That's a fact. What? Are you seriously telling me that even after I went through all the trouble to try and school you and knock some sense into your noggin, you're still not gonna listen to me and call it quits with my son? Linda, I gotta ask, are you more of a stubborn mule or a human being? Have you got absolutely zero shame? What lesson were you even trying to teach me? Because honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh wait, are you referring to that little stunt where you attempted to shove me into the fireplace? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not down to become a criminal like you. Wow, just imagine the embarrassment of having a mother-in-law who's a total criminal. Awkward much? Hate you. I already said it before. But seriously, I'm not some criminal, so quit spreading false rumors about me. And let me tell you, you're like the absolute worst daughter-in-law ever for treating your own mother-in-law this way. Stop bullying me. Oh, Margaret, mark my words. It won't be long before you come crawling back. Begging me to patch things up with Arthur. Seriously, no sane person would even consider becoming your daughter-in-law once they witness your true colors. It's gonna be a sight to see. You know what? I can't help but keep hitting the replay button on this awesome video I've got right here. It's just too good to watch over and over again. What video are you blabbering about? Spill the beans, Linda. I need an explanation right now. Seriously, what on earth are you keeping from me? This isn't a joke anymore. No more playing around. Chill out, Margaret. You'll find out about the video soon. No need to rush. Here's some solid advice for you. Make the most of your peaceful days while you can. Because sooner or later, 
you'll have to face the consequences of what you've done. And let me tell you, when that day arrives, it's gonna be one of the sweetest moments of my life, no doubt about it. Well, if you're done talking, I'll wrap up this combo right here. Later, Margaret. I can't wait to hear you beg for my forgiveness. I'm actually looking forward to it. Two hours later. Hey there, Linda. Did you come up with a whole speech to break off your engagement with my son, Arthur? Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled. I can't wait to see the priceless expression on your face when Arthur actually goes along with it and kicks you to the curb. Just a friendly reminder to get on with the breakup already. Every moment you waste with him is another moment my son could be searching for a more suitable partner. Time sticking. Hey, hate to burst your bubble, but there won't be any engagement breakoff happening here. Oh, and get ready for another piece of bad news headed your way. Brace yourself, because I'm heading to the police to file charges against you. Surprise! Filing charges against me? What in the world are you going on about? Quit messing around because it's definitely not funny. Like, seriously, what kind of charges are you even talking about? I haven't done anything wrong here. In fact, I've been nodding but kind and considerate throughout our entire conversation. What's with the confusion? Are you suffering from short-term memory loss or what? Don't you recall what went down at your place just now? You straight up attempted to launch me into the fireplace. Newsflash, you old bat. That's assault and battery. And you'll be looking at a one-way ticket to jail for pulling that off. Hold up, Linda. Seriously? We're going back to the whole prison talk? I thought we were already over that. I mean, come on. What did I do to you? It's not even that big of a deal. You didn't even get a scratch or anything. Are you a snowflake or what? Let's not make a mountain out of a molehill, okay? Can't you see the point here? It's not just about whether I got hurt or not. You shouldn't have done that in the first place, period. What you did to me was downright cruel and traumatizing. That's why the law needs to step in and make sure you face the consequences. Wait, wait a minute. I get it now. You're just trying to spook me, aren't you? You don't even have any proof that I attempted to kick you into the fireplace. Good one, kiddo. But there's no chance in the world I'm gonna be guilty for something you can't even back up with evidence. Nice try, though. Oh, no need to worry. I've got the whole scene recorded on tape where you tried to kick me into the fireplace. And guess what? I even recorded our conversation where you kept hurling verbal abuse and insults at me. So yeah, I've got some solid evidence right here. W what? How did you even manage to get that? I can't believe you had the audacity to go behind my back and pull off something like this. Hand over that video right now, you sneaky and cuddly thing snake. You can't go around doing things like this to me, especially when I'm supposed to be your future mother-in-law. Oh, here we go with the future mother-in-law card again. Whenever things get tough for you, you resort to playing that angle, huh? Well, guess what? I had my suspicions right from the start when you invited me over for dinner, considering how you've never treated me kindly before. That's why I took precautions and brought a spy camera with me as a backup plan. I always had a feeling you didn't like me, but I never imagined you'd stoop so low as to try to kick me into the fireplace. That's just downright cruel. If I hadn't fought back, I could have been seriously burned. Plus, even if I can't use the video, I still have the text messages you sent me as evidence. You already admitted your guilt through those, didn't you? Are you seriously that hellbent on making your future mother-in-law suffer? Don't you think you're taking this way too far, Linda? Going to court is gonna cost you a pretty penny, you know? And we're not talking pocket change here. It's gonna be a substantial amount of money. Definitely not a walk in the park kind of expense. I'm just looking out for you here, Linda. I know you're poor and you won't have a ton of money to spare. I'm just saying it because I care about your financial situation. No need to fret about that. 
Arthur's got my back on this whole ordeal. He's even offered to sponsor the entire lawsuit. Pretty generous of him, huh? I've always known Arthur as a stand-up guy who's got my back. But even if Arthur didn't step in, I'm still determined to see this through and make sure you face the consequences. You see, I've got a pretty good job with a high salary. So I'm more than willing to invest in seeking justice for myself. Money won't be an issue when it comes to making things right. What? Are you saying that my son is taking your side? But that's simply impossible. Let's be real here. Arthur hates you, right? So it doesn't make any sense that he would pick you over his own mother. Something's not adding up. There's no chance in hell that my son would choose you over me. You're beneath him, both socially and intellectually. You're not worthy of his love or respect. Where did you get the idea that Arthur hates me? Is that just another delusion you've made up for yourself? Let me set things straight. Arthur loves me. And we're planning on getting married soon. Unfortunately for you. It looks like you won't be attending our wedding because you'll be too busy enjoying your time behind bars. Huh? What's that now, Linda? You're telling me they're gonna put me behind bars? Seriously? I have to admit, I had to bite my tongue so many times to avoid getting into a fistfight with you. But guess what? I didn't do it, and I won't. I'm too much of a lady for that. Besides, why bother when the law will take care of you for me? You assaulted me, Margaret, and now it's time for you to face the consequences of your despicable actions. Hold up, Linda, listen. This whole situation doesn't have to be this way, you know? I was just messing around, trying to play a little prank on you. I thought it could actually bring us closer as mother and daughter-in-law, you know? I never wanted to hurt you, seriously. You've gotta believe me. I might have come across a bit tough, but I swear, all I wanted was to make things better between us. In fact, I absolutely adore you, Linda. You mean the world to me. Whoa, wait a minute. So now you're telling me you adore me, and trying to play off all the assault and insults is just a little prank? Talk about a complete turnaround. Gotta hand it to you, your acting skills are on point. I'd give your performance a solid 10 out of 10. You should have totally auditioned for acting school, no joke. I don't think now is the best time for jokes, honestly. Listen, Linda, as your future mother-in-law, I'm totally cool with you joining our family. Seriously, you and my son Arthur make an awesome couple. You've got my blessings, sweetheart. I was just a bit annoyed because some dumb poor girl showed up claiming to marry my son. And it got on my nerves. I was just trying to give you a little lesson, you know? Just the heartwarming moment, living a mother and daughter-in-law, nothing more. Trust me, this is a family thing. So let's keep the whole filing charges against me thing, all right? I just want to save you from unnecessary drama and hassle. That's all. A heartwarming moment? You think shoving me into the fireplace is heartwarming? Seriously, that's some messed up thinking, I gotta say. Oh, and by the way, guess what? The police finally accepted my paperwork and they're done processing it. So my job here is officially done. Just thought you should know. Wait, hold up. Linda, what the heck are you going on about? Didn't I just say that I'm totally cool with you marrying my son? Like, seriously, we're on the same page here. Uh, hello? Just so you know, I'm gonna marry Arthur whether you give your permission or not. Your blessing? Yeah, it means absolutely nothing to me. Hold up, Linda. If you end up marrying my son, that technically makes me your mother-in-law, right? Are you seriously that dead set on turning me into a criminal by filing charges? Come on now, let's think this through. Nope, I didn't make you a criminal. It was your choice to mistreat me and resort to violence, remember? Consider this a life lesson, Margaret. Some people like you really need it. Well, 
guess what? It's time for you to say goodbye to your fancy lifestyle and everything you're used to, right? Once the truth about you gets out, I bet nobody will want anything to do with you anymore. Your family, friends, and even your company. It'll all vanish in a poof, like dust in the wind. Hold up, sweetheart. Can you cut me some slack here? I've got a company to run, you know? If I end up behind bars, who's gonna take care of it? Think about it, please. A few minutes later. Hey, Mom, it's Arthur. I'm here with Linda at the police station. And honestly, all your pleading isn't gonna do much good now. You messed up big time with my fiancé, so she's totally within her rights to file charges against you. I saw the video too. And man, you really took things way too far this time. Oh Arthur, thank goodness you're here. I was just about to give you a call and discuss this whole situation. Look, I know I wasn't completely in the right, but let me explain, sweetie. Linda, she pushed me to do those things, seriously. She was constantly mocking me during our conversation, and her attitude was just plain awful. Please don't believe everything Linda says. She's feeding you lies, Arthur. Margaret, let's get things straight. Linda didn't do anything wrong. It was all you, constantly hurling insults at her and even getting physical. It's time for you to face the consequences and get a taste of justice for once. And yeah, I'm pretty sure your company is gonna take a major hit after all this. But hey, don't worry, they'll find someone new to step up as CEO real quick. They can't just replace you as the CEO. That's messed up. Listen, Arthur, you can't go through this. I swear, I didn't do anything wrong. It's all Linda's doing. She framed me. I'm completely innocent. I swear. Arthur, are you still there? Come on, just give your dear old mother a moment to speak, will ya? Hey, hello? Your mother is right here, talking to you. Please don't leave me hanging. One week later. Margaret was ultimately convicted and taken into custody as charged. Currently, she is serving her sentence in one of the state's quaint correctional facilities. Additionally, she had to secure loans to repay the compensations that were rightfully owed to me. Shortly after her arrest, her company swiftly appointed a new CEO to fill her position. I can only imagine the emotions Margaret must be experiencing, witnessing her beloved company slipping away while confined in a cramped, damp cell. Surrounded by fellow inmates who won't hesitate to put her in her place if she continues with her condescending demeanor. On the other hand, Arthur and I had the most extraordinary wedding, filled with blessings from our loved ones. Presently, I am cherishing each day, surrounded by the people I deeply care for. Life is truly wonderful.